Hey everyone, it's Kyle Lev. Today in this video, I just want to talk about why the Canon EOS RP is worth to buy in 2022. Also everyone, the only reason why I don't have the camera in my hand is because I'm actually filming on the camera to show you how good this quality is. Now I can't really compare it to any other camera because this was actually my first camera and I can tell you this camera has been really well, working well for me during my cinematography journey for this YouTube channel. I bought this camera around last year, December 2021, and now it's May 2022, and this camera has been working really well for me, as you can tell if you go back on my channel and look at my cinematic videos. First reason I think it's worth it because the camera grip. The camera grip is actually really nice. It could be a bit thicker, but if you like really hold it, and like if you just hold it lightly, you would have a really great grip and you could get really nice shots by having a good grip. Another good reason is that you have a lot of options going through your camera and autofocusing too. You have face tracking, you have wide shots for autofocus, and you have some really great focusing on this camera. And let me tell you, if you're trying to make vlogs on this camera or even like just handheld facing, your, facing the camera at your face, you have incredible face tracking. It's amazing, like you, you can move around and your face will still be focused. Speaking of quality, this camera actually shoots up to 4K, another good reason that you should get this camera, and actually it shoots up to 30 frames all the way up to 4K, which you have 60 frames, you have 28 frames, you have really good um, frame rates on this camera. By the way, I'm going to clarify, this camera came out in 2019, I think, and now it's 2022 and it's working very well for me. So. That's another good reason. This camera also has a really nice ISO, but if you're trying to take photos, I strongly recommend if you keep the ISO low to get those nice, crispy, awesome photos. Continuing on the autofocus, you can really like switch through the autofocus if you want autofocus or not. Also, I haven't even talked about the price. The price of this camera is around a thousand bucks USD, but for Canadian, I would say I bought this camera for like 1700 but that was a straight up bundle where I got also a lens, which I think the lens is a 24 to 105, I'm pretty sure. Well, it's right on here, but like I can't really see it because it's faded out, but it doesn't really matter about the lens that you get. It's about the body of the camera and the lens, because when I got this camera, I think it's because of the lens that made it so pricey and not the body of the camera so yeah it doesn't really matter so yeah it doesn't really matter what lens you get so basically all I'm trying to say to answer your question to get this camera if you're a beginner or not a beginner and if you're trying to take some nice photos this camera definitely takes some beautiful photos take some beautiful video too so so yeah that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about and how this camera is worth to you so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if this video did help you please leave a like and please subscribe and help me out I'm almost at 4,000 and it would be amazing to get there so yeah see you guys in the next video.